name is Monica Kerr and I work for the City of Fountain Valley and I work in the Finance Department. We work with revenue and expense. Revenue is what money is coming in and expense is what is money going out of the city. For example, if your mom gave you an allowance of $10 because you mowed the lawn, that is revenue. That is something that you earned and that is money coming in. Now say you want to go to the store and you found the latest game, um, video game, and you wanted to get that. And you looked at your, your, your allowance and you had enough money in your piggy bank and you went to the store and you bought that video game. That is expense. So we do that in the finance department, only we do it on a different level. Instead of a video game, we buy fire trucks. Very expensive, but we buy fire trucks. We buy stuff like turnout gear, okay? Which is for the fire firemen. This is what they wear. When you go to the park, all the money that's coming into the city, that's our revenue. And then we can go to the parks that you play at and buy playground equipment. So we have all this equipment that you can play on. The city also, if you've seen around town, maybe you've seen one of these big old backhoes driving down the street. City buys these and we use these to do improvements, street improvements, park improvements, any kind of improvements. We use this kind of equipment for that. The city also buys, when you see the, the cops going down, the police officers, we buy cars with our money. So anytime you see a police vehicle, we bought that. And we also buy stuff like concrete saws. And again, that's to help the city, that helps sidewalks. We can, you know, cut a sidewalk and replace it with new concrete so you don't trip and fall. So these are some of the things that the, the city of Fountain Valley purchases. Like I said, we have a different department also. So now we have water. So when you're taking a shower and stuff, that water comes from us and your parents pay for that in a bill. And I'm going to have Daniel Lopez explain that portion of our department. Hi there, my name is Daniel Lopez. I'm with the City of Fountain Valley Water and Trash Building Department. Um, also, we take care of all the, uh, the water consumption here in the city. Uh, we have about 17,000 water meters in our city. And a fun fact about our city is that we're one of the first cities that actually implemented electronic water meters. Uh, these meters uh, help you figure out how much water you use and they actually let you know how much water you use every single hour on the hour, which is very nice because uh, sometimes people have a high water bill and they know, don't know if they have a leak or if maybe there's another issue. So there's a quick glimpse that I'm gonna show you of our meters. And as you can see, it's just a digital screen with the row of numbers. And that kind of keeps track of the consumption on your account. And these are all, uh, they're out by the street in your front yard. I'm not sure if you've ever seen the little rectangular cement slab out by the, uh, the sidewalk. Underneath that box is where this meter is located. Uh, so again, this uh, keeps track of your consumption. And it's very useful because you can keep track of, again, where your water is going. If you're worried that your bill is too high or you just want to be more, uh, just more conscious of your water consumption, uh, the, it's a, a great tool for you. And one other, a couple other quick facts about the uh, water billing is that uh, we bill you by unit, which is uh, one unit is 748 gallons of water. So I'd ask you for, uh, a quick guess as far as how, many, uh, how much it costs for that much water, and most people would assume it costs a, a whole lot of money. But in actuality, one unit of water, again, almost 750 gallons of water, is only $3.90. So we're very lucky that we pay so little for, for the water that we do get to, uh, to use on a regular basis. And I'm going to leave you with one quick tip. Our biggest issue with water leaks in our city, in every city, is leaking toilets. So you ever, if you ever hear your toilet running or making noise when you're not using it, give a heads up to your parents because it could mean that the toilet is losing water and it's something that you need to look into. And I'm sure your parents will be glad if you give them a heads up early, that way their, their bill doesn't skyrocket. Again, that's, that's going to do it for me. Thank you for your time.